So let's talk about the five ways to manage your reputation. So the first and foremost is you must become someone that, and I want to make sure this lands, do as I say and as I do. This is one of the things that drives me mad crazy about the quote unquote influencer space are people that say one thing on stage and on camera, but they live a completely different life. I remember years ago, I started working with some of the most iconic people in personal development. And some of these people were like legends, like people that I would have called mentors because I either read their books or I went through their programs and I got to know them. And most of them, most of them were exactly what they said is who they are, which very much for me aligned. It's what I expected. But there was a few that what they said was so distinctly different than who they are. It's like if you went to the nicest restaurant in New York City and you had a meal and it was the most wonderful, luxurious experience. And then on the way out, they walked you into the kitchen. And when you were in the kitchen, you, sure, you saw the chef picking his nose. You'd never go back to that restaurant. Like, so the first way to manage your reputation is to not pick your nose in the kitchen. And what I mean by that is do as I say and as I do. Keep that aligned. Keep that aligned. Doesn't mean you're perfect, but you strive to create perfect alignment between what you say and what you do. The second thing is you must control your own narrative because the bigger you get, the more audacious you become, I can guarantee you this. Someone or something is gonna try to distract you and slow you down. And they're gonna try to take control of your narrative because your narrative is threatening them. So you must control your narrative. And the way that you control your narrative is that you extrovert. Even if you're introverted, you can be extroverted with your phone. Get on camera and let people see the real you. Let them see how you live your life. Let them see you in your hobbies and with your family. Let them understand what motivates you, what drives you. Let them know your story of where you began to where you're ultimately going. You must control the narrative. And if you don't control your own narrative, somebody else will. And if someone other than you controls the narrative, they also control your reputation as well. The third thing is that when you get results, not if, but when you get results, the people that have gotten the results or the organizations that have gotten the results because of what you do, immediately get them on camera and share their story. The story of this is where I once was to this is now where I am. You wanna capture those stories as quickly as the results transpire because what will often happen is people or organizations will forget what their life was like before you or their business was like before you. So you want to strike when the high earns odd, capture it, because that allows you to control your reputation. The fourth thing that you do to control your reputation, and this is critical, is that you associate with other people that align with your values, people whose reputations will rub off on you and vice versa. I mean, I sh I'm sure you know the saying, right? Birds of feather flock together. So if your reputation is a 11 out of 10, but you're associated with people with a two out of 10 reputation, well then it just you're, the average alone is gonna bring you down. So you wanna associate with people that align and share your values. They're doing important and meaningful things in this world. They're high frequency and they're magnetic and they're energetic. It's so critical that you make conscious decisions on who enters your orbit. Who enters your ecosystem? Who do you associate with? Because others are going to associate their reputation with yours. And the fifth and final thing to control your reputation is just be authentically you. Just make it easy on yourself. The more that you need to fake who you are, the harder it is to sustain it. One of the things that I talk about with fitness as an example is you need to start making 100 year decisions in the gym. If you can't do something for a hundred years, don't do it for a week. And I'm someone that violated that early in my, my fitness career because I would train for over three hours every day. I would lift weights that were like two week decisions, not hundred year decisions. So the best decision that you can make both in the gym and in your life is hundred year decisions. Hundred year decisions to be authentically you. And those are the five ways the five ways to ensure that you are controlling your reputation. Now, the challenge is on. Do all five. 
Because if you do one or two or you do number four but not number one, what's going to happen is your reputation is going to sink. It's not going to reach its full potential. You must do all five. So I challenge you right now, start with one, but go for five. Share with me in my DMs which one of these spoke to you the most and exactly how you're going to implement them. And I can't wait to see you control your reputation. Bye for now.